Welcome to the breakdown where we break down all the messed up shit. Welcome to the next day of Screepy Week. The theme of today is Ultimate Torture. So of course I had to pick one of the biggest torture porn movies out there. Now I've always knew about Grotesque. It's one of those nasty movies you always hear about like a Serbian film and Cannibal Holocaust. Grotesque is all torture basically guys. The narrative isn't really important. And I know some of y'all don't like watching stuff like this so you don't gotta really stick around. Plus if you're eating right now, Finish that food. Finish it right now. Because <laughs> you're going to throw it all up if you try to eat it while watching this video. You can find this Japanese horror story on Tubi TV, or however you say it. The crazy thing about that site is that it's like a free Netflix. And ads only show up like every four hours. Like, So if you do want to check it out in addition to any other horror movies, y'all can go to Tubi TV. Now if you want to see what happens, including all the messed up parts, stay tuned for the breakdown. The first thing we see is an ominous van in a tunnel roadway. Inside is our madman of the film. I'll call him Madman or Dr. Madman. Once he sees a couple walking by, he gets out and knocks their ass flat out. The next point of view is of the psycho killer driving. Damn, I know I'm American, but these roadways look nuts. What kind of light is that? Ugh. I fucking crashed out here. Dr. Madman ain't tripping until he hears the girl beginning to wake up in the back. He pulls over to the side and puts her back to sleep. Like, y'all can just pull over like that? Like what? Then, title screen. Inside a well-planned murder lab, the girl begins to regain consciousness and feels being gagged and tied up. Her and her romantic friend here. Dr. Madman is obviously well off and successful, probably just like Dr. Centipede. I wouldn't be surprised if they knew each other. He asks the man if he wants to go first. By first he means scraping his tongue with some kind of metal extension and stabbing him in the torso. He passes out from the pain and Dr. Madman, he's a weird kind of guy. Hard to bunch in with your regular psychos. He like gets a hard on from seeing human bonds and humans will to survive. I'll clarify later. Before we see anything else, we are thrusted into a date between two fellow employees that are now human torture toys for Dr. Madman. Apparently they knew each other for years, but he's just now asking her out? I guess in a way she is made for him cause she ain't got nobody either. The thing is though, it's just the first date and he already asking her to be his girlfriend. She shoots him down in the nicest way though. This scene is over here really trying to get me to be like, oh, they don't deserve this. They are just a cute little couple. Whatever, get on with that. I want to see y'all both get killed. What am I saying stuff like that for? After they leave the little shop, they walk down the same path where blah, 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 blah. They get knocked out. Anyway, after he tortures them in any way, he makes sure to heal them up right away so they don't die or whatever. He wants to prolong this until he gets what he wants. Like I said, he's looking for something weird regarding their relationship and just being human, I guess. Constantly asking questions like, would you die for each other? How many times have y'all had sex? But they haven't had any sex yet because like I said, it's just the first date. He says the higher will they have to live, the more likely they will be released. But testing that will is making them not want to live anymore at all, even if they do get out. He does a lengthy sexual scene. I can't get on YouTube bad side anymore, but just know he makes both of them squirt their orgasm juice all over each other. I think the scene itself is exaggerated very much though in a way. Plus the same caliber of sound effects you would hear in Red Room is also present during the scene. After the lengthy scene, both are knocked out and awakened to find themselves tied to a table. Dr. Madman gets out a chainsaw and cuts off many fingers on the man's hands. He took it like a G though, like really. He makes a necklace out of all the fingers he picks up. He's like, this is a present for him. Let's give him a present in return. Of course, she gets her fingers cut off too and respect her because she took it like a G. Even getting her whole arm cut off barely is a cry out of her. However, since she yells out without his permission, he decides to punish her. She has both of her nipples cut off. I ain't never seen nothing like that before. And again, she took it all like a G. 
Dr. Madman says to the man, look, I'm going to torture you. You can give in, though. If you give in, I'll just torture her. I kind of respect his desire to keep her from suffering any further. His first torture is getting a nail in the testicles. They had close-ups on his balls, too. Next, he gets his eye punctured, and then he gets his penis sawed off. Yes, the doctor held it in his hand. But luckily, it's enough torture for Dr. Madman. He feels he got what he was looking for. He feels he got what he was looking for. Why'd I say it like that? He was looking for some visceral excitement, a testament of their will to live. And so, they win his torture game and are patched up and allowed to live. Next, we see them in a traditional hospital-like room, healing from Dr. Madman's abuse. They're holding up pretty damn well. I would have still been crying. The experience made them closer though. Like, I don't see how it couldn't have, really. Dr. Madman walks in with flowers, telling them he intends to be devoted to them now. He wants to take care of them, as well as give them his entire financial worth, $700 million after turning himself in. I'm guessing he's talking about yen, perhaps? Or maybe the subtitles are trying to relate it to US dollars. Either way, it's a whole lot of damn money. But I don't think it's wise to trust a sadist like him. Another thing is weird about the doctor though. He fucking stank. He smelled like death and ass. He smelled like dead ass. They even closed their nose when they walked by. Y'all get on my nerves with that one. Next, they show a little montage of the doc fixing up both of the victim's wounds, including a nasty gross close-up of the man's severed manhood. The doc says in two days, he'll let them go. Is he telling the truth, y'all? Is he? Of course not because the woman is the first to awake back inside of the murder dungeon. He has turned their hope into despair. Damn, maybe this should have been ultimate despair day. He wants to issue one last test before he lets them go, a test of their will to live. He's going to cut his intestines out, tie them to this hook, and he needs to make his way over there to the scissors to cut his intestines so he can move further and then he can free her from her rope ties. The amount of vomit involved in this scene is way too gross. Yeah, y'all, I don't think I'll be able to do vomit dolls. I hate when things come back up. I hate vomit. It's probably the biggest battle ever to make it even a step far with your guts hanging out. But he uses all of his strength to get to the scissors and finally cuts his intestines loose. He crawls down over to her foot ties cuts them and makes his way up to cut her hand ties but notices that some kind of wire is underneath that wire is impossible to cut with the little energy and time he has left and he falls down unconscious after dragging his body away he puts on the music you walk to when you graduate he wants to see her last will to survive but she ain't running no bullshit no more spitting on his ass not once but twice that's what i call dying hard she starts roasting his ass no worse than roasting she's just being mean as hell calling his mom a fat whore swine saying only whores will have sex with him whores sound way worse than hoes look at him just standing there listening her meanest insult is that he stank she says he must have got that stank ass stench from his cum dump fat whore of a mother. <laughs> she says he must have got that stank ass stench from his cum dump fat whore of a mother. He didn't know he stank, and it makes him so angry that he disembowels her with a chainsaw. And then he gets an axe and cuts her head off. But she's like, hell no, I'ma die hard, and lands right on his neck, biting him. A surprise attack. Last supreme action from the man gets him stabbed in the foot, laying next to his two subjects. The couple both die together, facing each other. Hey, at least they ain't just die, they went out hurting the enemy. I respect it, but this is a disturbing film, and films like these usually don't have good endings. The villain is still alive at the end, and gives his last two guinea pigs a proper Japanese burial. But this isn't the end of his sadistic activities. The movie ends as we see him putting on lots of perfume, right before knocking out another victim. Well, about time I did this movie. I'm surprised I didn't do it back when I started, back during the record in the dorm room days. 
Well, I pretty much knew what was going to happen for a while now, because this is one of the movies you always read about, you know? Now that we got through it, let's talk about the most disturbing moment and most enjoyable moment, and that's spooky stuff. So, let's get right into it. The most disturbed moment is probably a three-way tie between when he nailed the man's testicles, when he cut the woman's nipples off, or when he cut out the man's intestines. I hated seeing all the vomiting the man would do. The most enjoyed moment was easily, easily, when the woman was talking shit to Dr. Madman. That was so funny to watch. I guess I like when villains have their mothers disrespected. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the ultimate torture day. Here's some more videos like this movie. Human Centipede for one. I got that whole Human Centipede feeling watching this movie. Or you can check out a more early 2000s era Japanese film set that I got for you right here. Thanks for watching. Spooky out.